Hello and welcome to my patch notes rundown for the 8th of June. In these videos I'm going to be filtering all the notable patches that affect gameplay, so no graphical or typo fixes. I'll be explaining the past history and rewording some of the patches to give you a better idea of what has changed. I'll also be giving my opinion and feedback when necessary with more importantly my reasoning. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. Archaeology the Blood Reaver Familiar passive now works when healing over the life point cap with items like Saradome and Brew and Rock Tails. This buff is insignificant and therefore they are still quite irrelevant. They are situationally best in slot between summoning level range of 73 to 95, ultimately bested by the Iron Titan in damage. They are also too expensive due to low supply and the fact that much better binding contracts use the same exact ingredients. They are also too slow to farm. To give you a better idea, the best place to currently farm them is the next KC room, where there are 6 of them spread widely apart with a 21 second respawn timer. Other Players are no longer required to complete the Throne of Miscellanea quest to travel to the Spirit Tree on Etcetria. Giant Mole minions now despawn on death. The invention, farming, and runecrafting teleport will now appear on the right click options for the skills necklace when worn. Fix an issue where rejoining an instance after logging out would reset the spawn speed setting. Fix an issue when newly obtained ceremonial sword plans would retain previous progress. NPCs in the heart of Gilinor will no longer be able to attack through the entrances of the boss waiting areas. Fix an issue where a potion reservoir was being turned off if a sign of the porter, sign of the life, or defense skill cape perk was used. I don't know how this works exactly, but the potion will stay on even if you log out and back in again. But if you change instance areas, for example entering a boss instance, it will turn it off as I'm sure many have noticed. Fix a bug which allowed players to bypass the 50% chance of destroying memories while converting memories using Divinomatic. After extensive research and testing, I've come to the conclusion that this was indeed a bug, but it also wasn't a big deal. Before going into details, I'm going to note the two core mechanics of the Divinomatic to give you a better understanding of what the bug was. First, memories can be consumed by the tool whether you harvest from a wisp or convert to energy at the rift. It has a 50% chance of giving nothing and a 50% chance of converting to however much energy the rift would give and adds it to the empty divine charges. Second, the tool consumes energy 100% of the time and adds it to the empty divine charges. Now let's look at the divine omatic configurations. First, siphon energy consumes 100% energy and 50% memories while option 2, Siphon Energy and Memories, consumes 100% energy and 100% memories. The bug only occurred when coupling the divine Omatic with the Divine Conversion Relic from Archaeology, which allowed you to convert the entire inventory of memories in one action, similar to the Gothixian Cash buff. Normally this would convert 50% of the memories into energy while destroying the other 50%, but this bug caused a 100% to be converted and 0% to be destroyed. Now let's talk about the significance of this impact. This actually didn't make it any faster in doing divination with our divine omatic, since the tool doesn't multiply any energies which are added to the empty divine charges. With the divine omatic, you're buying empty divine charges which are made with 20 simple parts and you're filling them by consuming 225 incandescent energy. Without the divine omatic, you're harvesting 225 incandescent en energy and selling it to someone with 20 simple parts that are making the divine charges. So it results the same. The divine omatic just allowed for more AFK training. So I believe the market shouldn't be disrupted too much other than the panic and the possible dumping of empty divine charges. And that's it for this patch notes. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.